All Bitcoin holders and traders need to pay very close attention to what's going on right here, right now, because I told you I'd be back with a stream when I had important information to share. And ladies and gentlemen, here I am. So let's dive in and analyze what is going on ladies and gentlemen crypto kirby here your cryptocurrency expert back with another edition of the daily live stream so let's not waste any time and get right down to it it's been a long few months of consolidation here for the bitcoin price and if you are subscribed to this channel, then you would know that the longer that we continue to consolidate and coil up within this pennant pattern formation, theoretically, the larger the break up or break down could be. And depending upon how you'd like to draw this pennant pattern formation, you can see here I have an upward sloping trend line down there connecting these two wicks. And then I have another trend line here, an alternate trend line, which connects many other touch points along this relevant area of consolidation right so we have two outlier wicks down there and then we have a ton of confluence all along this trend line so for me a break of either of these lines would not be strong from a bullish perspective what i'd be looking for is to continue to find support above both of these trend lines ideally and then of course look to break this downward sloping line of resistance and create a new local higher high which would be getting above this one right here which at the time of recording is at about 45,300. let's get this crypto so right now folks this pattern is just continuing to build and now you might be wondering well don don what is this big information that you came on to stream and share with us well let's get into that right here right now and for this portion of the stream we need to come over here to the s p 500 chart this is an index of u.s equities now if you are subscribed to this channel well if you're not already make sure you hit the thumbs up button subscribe tick the little bell and select all so you don't miss any more of this important bitcoin analysis but if you are subscribed to this channel then you would know that i've been following the correlation between the s p 500 and the bitcoin price for quite some time and in my opinion it's no coincidence that since we started seeing weakness in the s p 500 back in january of 2022 We've seen the Bitcoin price drop in the same time frame as well. And only right now are we finally starting to see somewhat of a recovery here on the S&P 500. I, I mean, it's still not out of the woods yet, but finally we've had one, two, three, four green candles in a row, all four on this index, a sizable percentage gain of over 1% per candle over the last four trading days, let's get this crypto. So you may be wondering, well, what does this mean? Why is this a big deal for Bitcoin? Well, if we are now going to see the S&P 500 turn around, right? We're seeing a series of higher lows here, a breakout to a new higher high. This is all looking nice, in my opinion, for a potential bottom to come in not out of the woods yet just potentially right so for me this is actually a very positive looking piece of construction here for the bitcoin price and now i'd like to feature an indicator and this one is called the hull suite strategy plus alerts by hamster dash bot on tradingview.com i am not sponsored by this creator or anything like that i was just looking for hull moving average strategies through the created indicator indicators list on tradingview.com and after backtesting and playing around with many different ones I've actually found this one to be quite interesting so let's get back to the chart so we're on the daily time frame here on the S&P 500 and I just want to pull up my inputs for this indicator real quick they are default it comes like this but I just wanted to pull it up for you there so basically what this indicator is looking for or rather this strategy depending upon how you'd like to say it it's looking for crosses either bullish or bearish 
using whole moving averages. And when it's bullish, the band turns green. When it's a bearish cross, the band turns red, right? And then you get the alert. It says short or long. Now, obviously, this is never going to be perfect. This is just a theoretical strategy where it's always looking to be in the market, either long or short. And it's just purely doing this after we see a cross in the whole moving averages that that we're using here, right? So right now, I just want you all to see here here, that before the signal comes in, right, on the day of the cross, you get a little green circle that appears above the candlestick. And you can see right here that we have had this green little twist here, right? So it's possible that if on Monday we see the S&P 500 close in the green, that one of these little long signals will come in here on the hamster bot alert, right? Now, you're probably wondering, well, Don Don, what happened? This long signal here got wrecked. And yes, it did. It was the top. It got wrecked and it plunged right? But how about the short signal? Whoopsies would erode that thing deep down into the crypto abyss, right? What about this long signal over here? Ripped right up. I do like this strategy for the S&P 500. Now, of course, like I said, it's never perfect and past performance does not indicate future results, but ever since the global health uncertainty debacle back in early 2020, just take a look at this thing. Gave you a long signal right there, long signal right there, short signal there, long signal there, long signal there. Of course, along the way, you get a couple of shorts that would have got you back out. But then look, before the next big leg up, long again, long again, long again, you get the idea. No indicator is ever perfect. I'm just saying that since the beginning of 2020, after this huge waterfall drop to the downside, the long signals on the daily time frame using the defaults that I have pulled up earlier in the chart for you. I'll do it again right here. We have seen many, not all, but many of the long signals work out for the U.S. S&P 500 index. Okay. There are no certainties or guarantees moving forward. I'm just stating that now, in my opinion, based off recent past performance, seeing this turn green here and getting a bullish twist on the HMAs. This is looking nice to me, folks, in conjunction with a series of higher lows and now local higher highs. Let's get this crypto. So now I hope you see where I'm going with this because we're going to go back to Bitcoin now and take a look at this indicator over there. So we know that there's been a correlation between the S&P 500 price action and the Bitcoin price action. And for me, the reason for that is just purely that both are risk on place, right? When people are, are jumping into equities, it's usually risk on. When they're jumping into Bitcoin slash crypto, it's usually risk on, okay? Many degenerates will fight that. It's a store of value, Kirby. It's deflationary. We're going to the moon. Well, yes, little Jimmy, I, I do understand. But at this point, crypto as a whole is still a speculative asset class. And yes, it's speculated that down the line, many years from now, it's possible that these things will be cemented into the traditional finance system as assets that everybody owns, et cetera, et cetera. But right now it's still risk on, but uh, let's get back to the indicator here. If we flip it on, I just want you to see that in terms of what we've seen from the bottom back in early 2020, right? We're going to start from that same point again. Now, just like the S&P 500, this indicator is never perfect. There are a lot of losses along the way, but what you have to see is that if we just circle all of the times that this thing has triggered a long, it's kept itself on the right side of the trade for a ton of the movement to the upside. I mean, it really did, right? And then in terms of getting out before these major collapses, I mean, again, even though you would have lost several times up in this range, right? It even did stick in the big short position before that massive drop. And of course, if we come back into the current day, it was very nice 
on the most recent huge uptrend, right? And now on the way down in terms of shorts, it's been pretty spot on again. Except right now with where we are at in here, obviously you can see that in a consolidation range, this doesn't work well, right? Long, short, long, short, probably at a slight loss or break even inside this range. Now, why this is interesting is because I want you to notice here, ladies and gentlemen, that we are having the bullish twist on the daily right here, right now. Very similar to what we just saw on the S&P 500 chart. And we also have the little green circle right here. Okay, so now we have the circle come in. We actually have the long signal come in on today's candle, right? And you might be thinking, well, Don Don, if all of these signals in the most recent past few weeks have failed, essentially, right? They've not really worked out. Why would this one be any different? Now, I'm not saying it has to be different. It could certainly fail as well. It could just lead you right on a path to wrecked city. But what I'm stating is that if we go back over here to the S&P 500 chart, we can see that this could be a clue telling us that the Bitcoin price could potentially have a much higher probability for a breakout of that pennant to the upside rather than a higher probability for it to break to the downside. Let's get this crypto. So you see now, ladies and gentlemen, right, when we come full circle here and we put all the pieces together, that right now with Bitcoin still holding itself above this trapdoor level at roughly between 30 to 28K, still holding this upward sloping trend line of micro support, trend line number one, mind you, not just trend line number two. It's possible here, folks, that this is now starting to form a bottom here and that we could be poised for a rip up towards this range here between 51,000 and 55,000, in my opinion, let's get this crypto. And if you enjoyed how I put all of that together for you right there, full circle, leave a thumbs up for the video, give the video a thumbs up for the algorithm. Thank you for that. And if you're brand new, welcome to the most must see and most realistic Bitcoin analysis show on YouTube, period. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, tick the little bell and select all so you don't miss any more of these important must see Bitcoin uploads. So it's going to be very interesting here, folks, with that double signal here coming in on the Bitcoin and S&P 500 charts using this indicator. Let me know with a comment down below. Do you think that Bitcoin is going to wind up ripping to the upside here? Or do you think this is going to be one gigantic bear flag potentially sending this thing down all the way towards 20 or possibly even 15 to 10,000? Let me know with a comment down below. I really am interested to see market sentiment right now from you guys, right? What are you guys feeling? Let me know down below. Of course, if you are not already in my VIP, that is where I post all of my real-time trade setup ideas, real-time entry ideas, real-time potential take profit ideas, strategy ideas, everything just like that in absolute real time as the dawn looks to potentially strike gold again. So if you are not already in my VIP, well, today is the day. It's time to transform yourself from average Joe into savage Joe. Let's get this crypto. I'll see you in VIP right now after this video. Let's go. And until next time, folks, I hope you did enjoy. I really would appreciate that thumbs up, the subscribe, tick the little bell and select all. I appreciate that. And until next time, the Don has spoken. Be safe. Be happy. Be healthy. It's your boy, Crypto Kirby. Peace and love, my friends. Curbs. Oh, and before I forget, don't fall for any of the fake Kirby accounts posting down in the comment section. They create fake accounts with a nearly identical username and logo to mine. Then they reply to your comments with phone numbers and email addresses trying to get you to contact them. You can see several examples on your screen right now. Do not contact these people. So here's how you can verify that it's my actual real account. It's very simple. When you're watching a video on my channel, my real account will always have a gray nameplate behind my name. I also have a verified check mark from YouTube. And just to make it even more obvious that it's me, I always leave a creator heart on my comments. Only the channel owner can leave a creator heart. So if you see the heart plus the gray background and the verified check mark, you know that it's me. If you don't see those things, then it's obviously a fake account. It's as simple as that. They're also creating fake accounts over on Telegram now. So if you are ready to become a VIP, do not go on Telegram and search Crypto Kirby or Crypto Kirby VIP. You're going to find all fake results. My group is private. When you search that in the search bar, you're getting public results. They're all fake. They're all imposters. 
Same thing goes for trying to contact me directly on Telegram. If you type in Crypto Kirby in the search bar, you're going to get all fake results. It's insane. The only way to actually get in contact with me directly is by typing in your web browser t.me slash Crypto Kirby or in the Telegram search bar t.me slash Crypto Kirby and making sure that the account you're speaking with is at Crypto Kirby. If you click on the account and hit view profile and the handle is anything other than at Crypto Kirby, you are not talking to me. You are talking to a fake imposter. So if you're ready to join VIP, the only way to do so is to click the link either in the pinned comment or in the description of my video. If you search for Crypto Kirby or Crypto Kirby VIP anywhere else, you're going to be getting in contact with a fake. Only use the links in either the pinned comment or the description of my official video. Stay safe and stay smart, my friends. I'll see you in VIP right now after this video. Let's get this crypto. The material in this video has no regard to the specific investment objectives, financial situation, or particular needs of any viewer. This video is presented solely for informational and entertainment purposes and is not to be construed as a recommendation, solicitation, or an offer to buy or sell any securities, commodities, cryptocurrencies, or any related financial instruments. Nor should any of its content be taken as investment advice. Crypto Kirby is not a financial advisor. The views expressed in this video are completely speculative opinions and do not guarantee any specific result or profit. Trading and investing is extremely high risk and can result in the loss of all of your capital. Any opinions expressed in this video are subject to change without notice. Crypto Kirby is not under any obligation to update or keep current the information contained herein. Crypto Kirby may have an interest in the securities, commodities, cryptocurrencies, and or derivatives of any entities referred to in this material. Crypto Kirby accepts no liability whatsoever for any loss or damage of any kind arising out of the use of all or any part of this material. Crypto Kirby recommends that you consult with a license and qualified professional before making any investment or trading decisions. Thank you for watching and have a great day.